eclipses solar and lunar an eclipse occurs due to the movement of the moon around the earth both a solar and a lunar eclipse occur only when the sun the moon and the earth are aligned together A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the sun and the earth at a lunar node. This can only happen when there is a new moon. The moon may partially or entirely block the sun during a solar eclipse. At this time, the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. When the outer shadow or the penumbra of the moon falls on the earth, a partial solar eclipse is witnessed. Partial eclipses occur when the moon is not completely in line with the sun and the earth. When the inner shadow or the umbra of the moon falls on the earth, a total solar eclipse occurs. At this time, the moon completely blocks the view of the sun. It is only a narrow strip of land that experiences a total eclipse. The rest of the earth will experience a partial eclipse. Sometimes when the sun and the moon are exactly in line, the apparent size of the moon is smaller than the sun. Thus, the sun appears as a bright ring or annulus and we witness an annular eclipse. Solar eclipses do not occur very often. This is primarily because the moon's orbit is tilted at an angle of 5 degrees. As the moon revolves around the earth, it is quite rare for the sun, the moon and the earth to fall in a straight line. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes behind the earth at a lunar node and the earth's shadow falls on the moon. This can only happen when there is a full moon. When the umbra of the earth falls on the moon, a total lunar eclipse occurs. The earth blocks the sun's rays from reaching the moon and the moon appears to be reddish in color during a total lunar eclipse. When only a part of the umbra falls on the moon, a partial lunar eclipse takes place. When the penumbral shadow of the earth falls on the moon, a penumbral eclipse takes place. The eclipse causes a slight darkening on the moon's surface. Unlike a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse can be viewed from nearly an entire hemisphere of the Earth. And, while a solar eclipse lasts only about 7 minutes, a lunar eclipse can last up to half an hour or more. It is possible for the Earth to view 4 to 7 eclipses in a year.